Good morning, everyone. I didn't get to get on yesterday. I wasn't feeling well, very well. Um, but I want to get on today and tell you about a couple of things. I found um, a website. There's several of them, actually, where you can get um, like a list of words. But this one's for free. And I'm going to tell you what the website is, and I'll try to put it in the description. It's www patricia lies which is spelled p-a-t-r-i-c-i-a-l-i-z-e dot wordpress dot com and you'll get all these cool words and phrases that you can use in your journals you can cut them out and and um, they're in white and they're also in black isn't that nifty i thought it was cool and also, I want to take you a little small craft using um, these cards here, index cards, and a sheet of the paper from Patricia Lies. And let's get started. Now, this is a different one, not just one word. We're going to use like a whole section of the word. Okay, you grab some glue and you spread it on your card. Let me move this paper here. And I was getting ready to do a class, so I was getting all my papers together. Soon I'm going to be doing a class at a lady's house. On making junk journals and I'm really excited about that I'm calling it a um, journal spa <laughs> all right we got it all glued now you can just take your glued card and just get it anywhere on the page let's see yeah it has a little leeway on the side so I'm going to, let me see, I want it the right direction here. Hopefully I got the right direction. It doesn't matter. We can fix the other side if it's not right. Anyway, just press it on real good. With your glue stick presser. I'm going to do your next one. <laughs> got some extra there. Hold on. I'm trying to teach myself not to get this cutting board all icky all the time. I'm putting something underneath. One day I'm going to get me one of those self healing mats. Okay. If you have a favorite self-healing mat, could you send me a link on my Facebook group? It's a step back in time journal. I would really appreciate that because I've been looking a long time and I haven't bit the bullet and bought one. Because it's not absolutely necessary, you know what I mean? But it's getting to the point where I really could use one. Okay. So they're all on. I'm going to move this sticky one. And now we're going to cut them out. that in case any of those words you want for future projects. 
You can also print these out on a sticker sheet so that when you cut them out, they're already ready to put on. You don't have to glue. I didn't have sticker sheets, so I just printed them out. And I will use my glue. I have plenty of glue. These aren't the best scissors. Okay, I've got them all cut out. Let's see what they look like. Okay, they don't look like much yet. Now I'm going to take my um, Distress Oxide from Tim Holtz, Vintage Photo, of course, and I'm going to put it around the edges. I'm going to cut the corners too. Okay, so I'm going to get the corners with this punch. It is a, I think it's another Martha Stewart. And I love how it has these little side thingies that come out. Bam. I don't even know if you can order these new anymore. They might be found on places like eBay. Uh, I'm just doing this to the first card to see how I like it. It's basically experiment people. Y'all experiment with me. The little stick things stick out but gotta pull off. Okay. That's the corners. Also have some other stuff in my head. And that's why those are on. I'm gonna hit the corners with the ink. You ever like you know some of y'all also go through these times of pain. So do, when you're in pain, do you still want to craft? I do. But sometimes I just can't. So I'm glad I have a chair here, so that helps me today. And I'm just taking my time. So that I don't get too worn out from this. Okay. Now on the next one, I'm going to use the this the corner rounder and start out with number seven see if I like that that's good and if you don't have a corner rounder you can get them from eBay and Amazon I believe both I think I'll make this one with the other corner or see if I can do another corner. Let's see what I've got. I've got, let's do a butterfly corners. That will be fun. And stick it in there and get me some butterfly corners. One. Now these little guys don't cost much. You want a small investment for something to do on your corners. And there's always a way to do it without a corner puncher. You can use like a um, spool and put it right here in the corner and cut around it. Like, here's this one. I'll show you. Just draw around it. 
I'm gonna do dandy pen coming right up like that. I think I learned this from that's just penny. She's always coming up with really smart things. If you get over to her channel, she'll teach you something good. This one didn't get on there all the way. Okay, so then you take your scissors and just snip it off. And it's just like having a corner rounder. Isn't that neat? And you don't even have to invest in it. If you're just doing an occasional journal or occasional card for somebody, you don't need all that. So now it looks really good. I like it. With both the um, butterflies and the corner rounder. It looks great. Okay, now we're going to hit it with the ink. Some of these um, sayings are cut off, but that's okay. We're going to do some more decorating to the card. Before you know it, it will look great. So we can put things over the ones that are cut out. I mean, cut off. Or they can just fill in the blank in their mind. I know what that's supposed to say. <laughs> we all do it anyway like somebody in the store says something and you want to answer them <laughs> I do that all the time do y'all do that sometimes I do answer them <laughs> but I try to do it where they can't hear me unless I just wanted to be funny and a big, a big cheesy grin on when they look my way and it cracks them up for a little while okay so all that's done now I have saved these beautiful flowers from a rose catalog I have somewhere in my all my stuff I'm glad I saved them I don't know where that rose catalog is anymore. It's somewhere around here. And I am going to put them on next. I think we will set a couple aside. Okay, so we're going to give them the right direction. It says, you got this at the top. Okay. Oh yeah, that's going to be pretty somewhere on here. I have to figure out where I want it and where I want whatever I want. Am I making any sense? Probably not. I think maybe I want to. I like the green in that, but I don't like the corners. Ooh, ooh. I'm just gonna eyeball it this time. In the other room, you may hear some banging. <laughs> My husband is fixing up the antique dresser for me my cousin brought by. He's being really sweet and fixing it up so I can use it in my closet 
to hold my um, drawer close. I had one in there now, but it's dilapidated in plastic. So I thought, well, that is the perfect thing for my closet when she brought it by. It's like, do you want this? You could use it for craft projects or something. And I knew exactly what I needed it. Okay, so now once I get these on, I'm going to hit it again with more ink to make them look older. But before I do that, I might want to use this on there. I think I will. Just to give it some more layers. Let's see how this goes. See if Vintage Photo is the right color. Not quite sure if that is the right color. Now I'm banging. Okay, that looks kind of funky. <laughs> Maybe I should do it the other way. Okay, well, it's on. And then we're going to put our pretty flowers. And maybe I shouldn't have put it on like that. Let's just blend it all in now. Ooh, that looks good. I'm going to use a little bit of my tea spray to get that distressed color. When you put um, this distressing ink in some water, it gives it more of a yellowy color. to do that. You're supposed to be able to use it with water. That's on the package. Just spritz water on it. I think my head's starting to come up. And now we have really looking cool. Cover up the thing that says create. You know what I mean? I like them. I've been singing that, humming that song a lot. Maybe I need to hit this with black for it to show up good. Let's see how that works. I may have to even use a marker if this don't work. It's like it didn't even phase it when I put the vintage photo on it. Now Tin Holtz does have more colors of the Distress Oxide you can purchase. They have a black soot, but I haven't brushed it out of my bubble yet and tried it because I have these still and I don't want to waste. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to hit this. put them on. I think I'm going to try Oop, I think I need a different one. It completely came off. 
Mine for anyone. Or one that's not dead. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see if this does anything to the color of the flower. Oh yeah, it's starting to really make it look nice. Ooh, you know what else I could do? I could use some of my white distress stain. If it messes up, we won't get mad. Because things happen. Okay. Now I get a tissue. Let's see what happens. Looks a little bit less. Doing something. <laughs> Ooh, it's looking kind of neat, I think. Okay, now I'm going to hit it again with the black and see what happens. Now that it has that other ink on it, I think it will take it better. dries really fast in my house. I have these fans on. I probably can't see anything I'm doing. Oh, I got used to my new setup. Sorry, guys. Okay, so that looks great, I think. That looks really good. So we're going to do the same thing to this little guy. Where's the white? Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the place where Jesus would have died. Okay, so that's cool. Blowing that a teeny bit. I'm gonna get my black dauber. So with magazine paper, it's so shiny. You gotta hit it with some kind of other medium to help it not. To shine so much and look older if you're doing vintage style but you still can use it or I think you know what I want to do I think I just want to cut it because it's so long and weird looking just doesn't appeal to the eye, I don't think. Let's try that shape. Okay, so it bothers me that it doesn't have enough green. So I am going to add a little green and see if that helps my mind at ease. Mm, doesn't do anything. Okay, let's just glue it on and be happy. Be happy. I'll figure out something later and go to the next one. Let's 
see it's like framing the words that one I just found is right over create and this one's right under enjoy life <laughs> Now, for good measure, I'm going to glue podge. Isn't that nice? Now, I'm going to use my black and go around the edges so it all is very cohesive because there's black in the photo. A very dark color anyway and that will just make it pop more and my eyes will be at ease okay let y'all see that first one I think it turned out really cool and we'll go to the next one Try this guy. And we need to pick a flower. And if it has a straight part, that's what I'm learning here with this project is you need to not make it straight, make it more curved with your scissors. You don't want it to look like it came out of a magazine exactly. Needs to look more like, I don't know, a sticker or something like that. Okay. With my head in the clouds. <laughs> and then, I'd rather make an impact on your fill in the blank because it got cut off. <laughs> uh, so I could put that there. I like it. Maybe that's all I want to do. Or I can put another one over here. Oopsie. I think I just like the one. That's what we're going to do. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing we did on the other card because it looks really good. Is we're going to take our brown vintage photo. A little bit different. We're just going to rub it on and age this paper. So you don't have to have old paper to make it look like old paper. You just need this stuff. And then we're going to hit it with the water. Now this is got a little bit of tea color to it, but not much at all. when I tried to dye the other day with it <laughs> not much happened okay so now it's really wet I'll set that one aside to dry work on the next one and it already has the color in the water in it so that's perfect for working on it Almost looks like some tea fell on there or something. Okay, so there we are. Back to that first one. And this is where a <laughs> heat gun would come in real handy. And I have one, but it got lost. So I'm still looking for it. Maybe it'll show up one day in one of these episodes. Oh, 
Lar. Yeah, good. No, I should have used my white on it. Let's see how that works after the fact. I like it to dry just a tiny bit. Yeah, that looks great. Now I'm going to try something different. I really don't know how to use this stuff. <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go. I'll put it around the edges. Maybe one of these days I'll sit and watch videos on it and learn something. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do like some little all over stuff. See how that looks. And then I'm going to <coughs> rub it in. Bless you. My kids are in here. I have to bless them, you know. They need it. Everybody needs a blessing. So that looks great, I think. That's a nice light color look. Might need a little bit more glue on that guy. Why not? It's working. I'm going to get some more of this on my flower for a second coat. Make it like go into the paper around it. Looking really cool. I like it. Okay. That was my goofy voice. Okay, now we're going to add black to the outside. Well, it's still wet and drying, so if you see all these wrinkles, it's because it's wet and drying. Uh, hopefully, most of the wrinkles will go away as it dries. I think so. It's looking really cool. I love it. I love that creamy color. Set that aside and work on the next one. Wait, y'all need to see it up close. It's just really cool. If I can get my light. Ooh, there we go. Can y'all see that? The creaminess is awesome. Okay. Now we're going to do the next one. And it has a nice color already. It does indeed. And let's see if we can find an appropriate flower. I think this peach one is going to look really good. Stop worrying, it says. Treat yourself. I like naps and you. <laughs> I think I'm going to put that one right there. But you know what? I've decided I really don't like this black around it. I'm going to take it off. And we'll see what effect that has on it. Hopefully I don't destroy it trying to take the black part off. Yeah, I don't think I can. It's just one of those forgiving projects. I 
if you got a rose catalog in the mail, sit and cut out flowers all day. <laughs> Not all day, but you know. While you're relaxing, oh, that looks great, I think. I'm going to add a little brown. Wait, we should do the white first. White. My head gun. You like it? Just kidding. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Now, vintage photo. Just, hmm, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to use the wood. It's not working. It's a little wet. It's kind of changing the whole color. Oh, but that, okay. that is okay. But we should do the color, the whole thing again. I think, let me see. Do I want that? Nah, I like the color it already is on this one. Just do it. Stop worrying. Oh, the flower on the other side was pretty too. Oh well, done used it. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, as you already may have guessed, I need to do the other side. But what I'm doing on that side is easy and fast. Just do some more of this. Oh, I want that drying to look great. Next. I'm already out of water. That was fast. I'm just seeing if I just use what's on the um, dauber. I'm getting all kinds of little fuzzies. <laughs> they'll, they'll dry them. Uh -oh. And then they'll fall off. I think I'm going to get it with a little bit more. More folks, more, more, more grunginess. Getting 
stain, man. Something happened to this paper along the way. Okay, so all that is done. And you could do other things. You could add a little bit of um, sewing tissue to make it look like it had a rip in it. If I had any. Ready in my handy dandy thing. Okay. Let me show you. I got to see it. Now I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this lovely paper and make a crack. Oh no. And then I'm gonna hit it with this. I don't always do this, sometimes I'll just put it on there. I'm gonna show you how I do this. Just takes a little bit more time. Okay, but not much. And you take your little piece of tissue and you glue it on. Did I get the back? No. I'm gonna do brown on the back. I keep saying brown. Vintage photo. Vintage photo. say vintage photo because there's other types of browns that have like walnut and other things okay now the poor thing has a crack and you want to cover up the crack because you don't want it deteriorating uh oh <laughs> that didn't work I just in my tape. Okay, back it goes. Rub it with your fingernail gently. Rub it in. Okay, now once that dries, you hit the actual um, tissue paper with some more vintage photo and it shows up. And then you do the other side. And grab some more tissue. <laughs> Your hands need to not have glue all over them. Okay. Okay, so I have to blow on it. I'm going to do the other sign. This lovely crack. I did it again. That's okay. This lid is so handy. Okay, now I'm going to cut off or tear off the edges. I think I'll cut it. edges of the tape. The faux tape. The faux vintage tape. It may not work on this side because it's already really dark. But I'm going to try. <laughs> Doesn't really work on that side. That's okay. It, Gave it another dimension at least. And I'm going to hit the top of it with some glue. And I'll try to have, um, you know, nice close up pictures of this on Instagram for y'all. 
so that you can enjoy the finished work that you helped me do. Y'all are great helps to me. Keep me going. Okay, see now those little <laughs> peels from this, because it's not the actual right um, dauber um, sponge. I accidentally picked up the ones that were for um, some kind of ink, alcohol ink. Uh-oh. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. That one's still drying. When I get done, I can take some good pictures of the very finished work. And then y'all can see them on Instagram. My Instagram is A underline, step underline, and all the way back through the whole name. I step back in time. Journal. Underline between each word. And I'll try to have that in the description. So one last look, beautiful. Beautiful and beautiful. Ready to go in on my next journals. Okay, see y'all later. Till next time, bye bye.